morning everybody it's rachel here and we are doing roxy's journal of stitchery what i'm doing is i haven't touched these at all but i am stitching this all the bits on here so i wanted to go through that a bit with you guys i've nearly finished stitching on this big piece so we'll finish that and then um we can do the other bits oh i didn't bring any threads <laughs> i've only got this one but we will i will get that so I'm actually, because this is quite thick in bits, it's thin in bits, it's thick because it's old. I'm going in between the fabric and the wadding. I'm not going right through and I can feel that because I have my finger underneath. So I'm just sort of sliding my needle between the layers, which is a good thing because I don't want the stitches on the reverse side because I like it. Um, so I mean, some of you have already finished. Like my dear friend Pam from Pandora's Junk Journals, she finished one the first day. She sent me a picture and it was stunning. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you're such a genius. So you guys are amazing. I'm hopeless. I feel like I'm hopeless. You guys keep us success and I accountable, which is kind of why the reason why we started it. It was just to get more stitching done which doesn't always happen. Am I on screen? I've brought you down, yes, closer. I'm just doing an overcast stitch here. Sometimes I struggle because it's a bit thick, but I am in love with the colors of this. I love this cutter quilt and, um, and I just love the colors. So I'm very happy. So I'm nearly there. And then I just want to tell you what, what I've done so far. I was going to sit and do all of this off screen, but it's part of it. And I don't actually know, you know, I want to get it stitched on. There's going to be a bit of embellishing stitches, but not a lot because it's already gorgeous. And so this one may come together quickly. And that's why I'm happy I've got the other two there because we may make more than one this month. Because sometimes you don't need to overdo it, which I often do. Keep coming unthreaded. Okay. Oh, that's a bit thick there. I will come through and end it off. You can see my big dog's teeth stitches there. I had to do big dog's teeth because I had to catch that. Very nice things to have, vessels. Um, okay, so I can take those out, those whoppers. They really stab you, those ones. Look at the big dog's teeth, it doesn't matter. I could go up there and do a running stitch. I might decide to do that. All I did here was just catch it there. Now I want to stitch this down. And my thought is, I think I might grab a navy, a blue. It doesn't have to be navy. Actually, I might even use that one. No, I know, I've got one in there, I think. I do. I have a navy blue here. Let's. I want to just use a navy blue, and I actually want that to be able to see that. Where's my needle? It's a nice big eyed needle, so. But I don't want to come through to the other side. Well, even if I do, it actually just adds character, I think, because sometimes it's fun to do reverse stitching. So reverse. Um so that your underside is on the top side. Does that make sense? That gives a nice effect. Right, so what I'm gonna do here, is, that probably will just be hidden anyway when I stitch it all together. Of course, I'm hand stitching everything. I'm not gonna use my machine. I'm just going to do an overcast stitch, but one that you can see with the navy blue. Now I may snip that off, that the wadding off, but I may, oh no, I might I'll probably stitch that down. Let's see if I can catch that. Really was in a sad state of affairs, this um, cutter quilt. Hence the name cutter quilt. I only buy damaged ones. I'd um, Sass bought a couple and um, <laughs> she loves them so much she she was going to cut them up but she can't I said mine mine were in such a, a state of disrepair that I have no qualms in cutting them up 
said to Sarah, you got to look for the ones with the holes. I think um, <clears throat> quilt is a great thing to, to use for this type of project because it's already thick. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me while I choke. So how is everyone today? I just seem to get crack a and don't ask how everyone is. I didn't feel like going to the post office today, so I didn't bother. I'll go tomorrow. Um, it's just been so crazy at the post office. I just needed a break. I go every day. I think I'm too fast for my own good um, with the mailing because um, a couple of you, I'm so sorry, um, then came back a few hours later and bought things and, and my mother-in-law and I had shipped everything like we were shipping um the fabric orders as they came in pretty much because she was just really insistent on you know she'd come to drop me off the the receipts and everything and she'd go he got more and I'm like oh yes and she, oh well I'll wait while you do the documents let's take those ones as well and then you know more orders came in from the same people so I felt really bad about that um so I think I'm going to slow it down I will be putting the fabrics in my shop again this week. I'm hoping to get my other order. I've got another order that I, I feel like it, it may come this week. Um, one has arrived, but it's new fabrics that I hadn't printed yet, even though I'm mixing them all up. See, I've got a big stitch in there, but I'm actually quite happy with that. That's fine because it's only one layer because, as I said, in some parts it's really thin. I'm so in love with my fabrics. I tell you, we had I, that that order went astray. It like they was meant to come on Monday, and um, and so I kept looking on the FedEx TNT website, and then it said, "Oh, it's in now." Um, it said it was in transit, but then I when I you know did the automatic messaging with them, it was like the computer. It said, "Oh, it's in our um, warehouse in." town in Santa Candelo so when we took Lulu to driving school I said to Steffi can we just drop by FedEx and just see um, if it's there actually there and it was and they gave it to me and I got it and I'm very happy but it's not everything so I need I need, do need to get the other one and then I can really be back in action I think it's just going to be continual ordering and waiting for fabrics to arrive. I do have one um, fabric that I didn't share with you yet because I was just figuring it out and I will share that this week sometime. I'll probably just put it in my shop. I usually, when I've got new things in my shop, I link them in the description box. I'm liking this navy blue. So that's going to hold that down. there now let's oh, I better I need to catch this so I'm going to slide in here and do that kind of invisible stitch slide across and then catch there just to close that up even though that's going to be stitched anyway I do want this to be really sort of this sort of textural and rustic I don't want it to be perfect that's all secure and because you'll be able to look in it I'm thinking I might do like some sort of patching here and there but let's go back to the front now I want to I'm going to attach this I'm going to use this thread a grand again Oh, and I'm thinking, see, ideas, I don't never know. I just start with what I do know. I knew that I wanted to do that. I think I'm going to do a running stitch along there. And what I'm going to do here is, I haven't stitched that down yet, but I can stitch that after because this is on top. I'm going to do, and, and you know, it, when I get this stitched on, that might be it. Now, oh, here I went through all the layers. Maybe I don't want to go through all the layers. Although it does add texture on the other side, so maybe I do. I don't know. It'll be what it will be. I'm not even going to worry about it. I want to stitch that on. That's just going to keep on stabbing me. I'm going to put you that way. So 
So those who are waiting to know what we're making <laughs> for our course in um, at, in December, I am getting there. I've got I've nearly finished I've nearly finished two samples for two courses, and I've got to do the the third one, which in theory shouldn't take me too long. It just depends. So I'm getting there. You'll know soon because I know people are contacting Zoe to find out. What are they doing? What are the girlies doing? I think you'll you'll like them. I'm pretty excited. I do need to consult with my sister. Of course, she hasn't had time, but she will do. She will have samples for when the course. Well, she should have samples. Mum's making samples as well. But mum, like mum is merely, because she's doing her own thing, it's really inspiration. And if anyone wants to do something similar to mum, then, then she will be there on deck and well, because she was unwell when I was there and didn't tell us. Um, so she got into trouble. Um, anyway, she'll be well and and she'll be able to come around and help. I'm going to go through and end it on that side. I don't have a choice, really. Which is fine because, I, as I said, I might put some patches inside. Oh, yes, thank you, Alexa. You just do that. Every so often she just starts talking. At least I don't feel like I'm alone. Well, I'm Lulu's here. She's still here. She's she's studying for. She still hasn't done her high school exams yet. They start next Wednesday, so she's studying for that. Just snip the little tail off. Getting ready, and she's going to driving school, and she's now enjoying it. She's after the first day, which was a bit of a shock. She's now decided she loves driving. We went to the big supermarket today because we had to get a bit of stuff and she's like wanting to drive home and I said, oh, because there's the roads with the big ditches and I said, I don't want to, you know, like it's something to happen and for you to be set back with me in the car and then I feel like it's my fault. Ow, oh, ow, ow, that hurt. I feel like it's my fault. I prefer that she, her dad's a really good, really good at explaining things. It's just an art to be a really good teacher like that. Um... And so she's doing the driving with her dad. And I just said, I don't want to set you back on these horrendous roads. Because she's only been, you know, she's only had four lessons. So she, I, th I said, let's get, wait till you get your confidence. And then when we go to the supermarket, you can drive. That did hurt, but thank God, goodness, it's not um, bleeding. Yes, yeah, so some of these projects have been, um, well, not fast for me because my time is limited, but they've been fast for some of you guys, haven't they? But then you can make multiples. That's the nice thing about it. Or you might have a variation in your brain that's popped into your brain when you're sitting there stitching away. You might think, oh, that could be nice. I've seen quite a few hoose whips. Hoofs, 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 hoofs. Oh my goodness, can't even say it today. Anyway, you know, those things, lots of those being made. I think if I remember on our last video, I think I might just gather. I don't know if I can find all my stuff now. I can't even remember what we made. What did we make? Oh, we made a pouch, horse with, horse with a, um, a um, what's it called, a, I made a cuff, so a wearable. What else did we make? Oh, we did the box. I haven't done my second box yet. I must get onto that too. Okay. 
So that's that. Take that out. And I won't, it actually won't, I was thinking maybe I should sort of, because it lifts a little bit, maybe I should put some stitches around there or around there. But I don't think I will because when this is rounded, it's not going to do that. Now I want to come up here and my thought with this was, Oh my goodness, that's thick. Oh, I'll just come in here and get started in here and tuck my knot in if I can. I'm going to do, I wanted to do running stitch across this one with that. I'm going to do a lot of this navy blue, I think, because I like it. Take that out, I just got stabbed again. Then they are really good for, especially, thank you, Sarah, for pointing that out to me um, with these really thick things because they they're flexible they're long and flexible so they go in nicely when it's really thick probably a bit boring for you guys with no color change but this is what's happening and you know I'm not even going to worry about my base yet I'm going to stitch it together <laughs> and then I'll I'll see a wing it and see how big a base I need because I really love the randomness of things it really makes me happy so sometimes it's nice to do your running stitch but be have it that way and and then you get all the wonky stitches that happen on the other side on the front side and it looks really cool might just give you a tap in a second just to make sure you're in focus because sometimes the phones with the moving around go out of focus now I am needing to go through the layers here to attach this because I haven't attached it any other way sometimes I have to put it down on my mat that was a really thick bit I need my pliers. Not worrying too much about the size of my stitches just because it's I'm going it's really hard to get them the way you want when it's so hard and thick like this. So lovely one that contacted me last night. She's like, oh, I was listening to your post post stories and oh, I bought this um, post machine on Amazon and it prints up your thing and 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 then I use Etsy labels and and they calculate the shipping and I said to her, Wanette, you've been here, you've forgotten. I live in the land of the dinosaurs. Like they are Italians are so behind with technology like not internet and that sort of stuff they're fine but as far as services really behind like in australia i'm sure in other countries everybody lots of my, my brother and i don't know who else they have their driver's license even on their phone um some people are just now starting to do the you know the pay with your phone um but not many people do here uh we still have cash in our wallets well i don't because i'm an aussie but um, most people do. It's still a cash society. Like I had to tell all the ladies when they came here, you need cash. Um, because, you know, there's, I mean, there's so much black money going around. You know, money that's not declared that they're never going to get. Stefano's like, how are they ever going to be a, like a cashless society in Italy? It's just, how are they going to do that? Like when you go to the antique markets, the majority of people, if you ask them for a receipt, they get all huffy at you and they won't give you one so you know that's all just money cash going into their pocket it's a it's a that's how it is here and so i just wonder how they're going to cope with that in fact sometimes when i'm in australia i'm like oh, i'll, I'll get a bit of cash out just in case i need it my sister's like why no one has cash here so um it's that's how it's just so different to Italy 
anyway, Wynette, I appreciated the gesture and that would be a dream she, dream for me to have my whole um, postal process simplified. But at the moment, it's not happening and they've created their silly QR code that doesn't work. I spent the time doing it and it doesn't work when you get there. Typical. And, and I, you know what? This QR code thing has been going on for more than a year. And they still haven't got it right. Maybe it's even two years now. Time flies. It's like the medical system here. Yes, it is free and everything, but it's all. They just complicate it. Like, you go to your local doctor and you have to go to the set doctor. There's a list of doctors in your area and you can only go to those ones. In Australia, you can go to any doctor you want. Um, and and then you go there and they don't do anything. All they do is look at you and they think, oh, you might have this. And then they refer you to a specialist. So then you've got to go and book at the specialist. And then the specialist will say to you, oh, okay, um, go on, you need to go and have a blood test. Or, or, or your doctor will say, oh, you have to go and have a blood test. And then and so you have to go to the hospital you have to there's like the blood test area of the hospital and then you go and book it in and then you have to get the results and then you have to go back to your doctor and then he refers you to another doctor it's just like a million trips around to get anything done it's crazy now here i'm just this is more decorative so i'm just trying not even to bother going through the layers i'm just going through whatever i'm catching here because i've already stitched it down I don't need to hold it down further. I've gone quiet. I've gone into the zone, into the relaxing zone. So we'll finish this one off next week, I think, and then we'll start one of the other ones. I may just go ahead and, and um, just with the plain sort of thread, just stitch everything down, fix them into place, and then we can see what to do on it. I think I was just thinking before, this would be a very a lovely hoof sweep as well done like this. This could be the exterior. Now I'm sort of avoiding that bit there right now because I'm not quite sure what I want to do there. Let's move that off, it's getting in my way. So basically just working with a rectangle here. What was the what was the first thing we I think we started off with the pouch? Oh my dilly bag. My drawstring bag. Oh, I loved doing that. That was really fun. Yep, I think I'll gather them all and we'll have a look at them all. I think you guys should do that with all yours too. See, some of you will have to have a whole table full because you've made so many things, which is just incredible. Um, I won't because I only made one of each. Okay, so I'm liking that. Now here, what will I do around that one? I think I'm just going to do it with this. Let's get another needle. Mm, this will be fun to, to thread. Do my big dog's teeth quilting stitches. Not like beautiful Beck from Sobe with her beautiful, perfect, incredible, shall I say, quilting stitches that she does.
So this idea just to do it with this thin sort of tatting, whatever it is, thread, um, came from my mama. I always tell you that, but there might be some new people. Mum does a lot with this thread. She does a lot of camphor stitching because it gives you the texture, but it sort of stays in the background. And, um, you know, not overpowering like a colour. And sometimes we don't want everything colourful. In some bits I'm going through, I can feel it. In some bits I'm not, where it's a bit thicker. Excuse me while I just stab myself. It seems to be a thing with me at the moment. I keep stabbing myself. I think here, because that's not stitched and I can see that, I'm not going to like that. It's going to annoy me, so I'm just going to actually go right across even over the over and under the lace This is so enjoyable, honestly. You know I didn't sleep last night. I, well, I did. I slept from 10.30 until 3. I think maybe 3.30. That was it. But you know why? Because I had fabrics flying around in my head. I don't know why. But they were flying around in my head. They wouldn't get out. I should have put on some white noise. That would have gotten rid of them. But I didn't. And um, and so I didn't really sleep very well. But I, I didn't get up until 5.30. But I tried to make myself sleep. But it wasn't. I had one eye open. If you know what I mean. Just too active. The brain. The, too overstimulated I think. It's just the excitement and the happiness of it all. I sound like you, Kate, <laughs> but I am. I just, um, I'm, I just, because I'm a fabric person, I'm just so excited to have my hour, I should say, because some of them, are, a lot of them are also Steffi's designs in done in fabric. Right, we're nearly done there, and then we'll have a look at it. I do want to put some things, I don't know if I'll do it today, but I want to maybe, maybe we'll make some decisions for the back here. Just here and there. I love um, Sarah's one too. I will I will eventually make one like yours, Sass, because I like the, the bowly vessel, the wonky bowly vessel too. So did anybody go and check out um, incredible Rachel Singleton? She's she's amazing. She does amazing vessels. Actually, I think I will. I would only get to there. So let's start here. I try to work out so that I can you know be continuous in my stitching, that I don't have to end it and um, when I've got the, you know obstacles, that I don't have to end off and start again. So you'll see by starting there, I can go there and then I can continue on and finish it off. Ideally, when you're doing the canvas stitching, if you can get, you know, more stitches onto your needle, that's, you'll get the, a better look than doing one stitch at a time. But sometimes when it's really thick, you can't, you have to do the more stabby sort of method. 
I've just got one of uh, a Milner's needle with a slightly bigger eye that I can thread and I don't want that. more rows. I just can't wait to see how it looks. There's no wadding in this bit here. I can feel the stitches going through, see? But I like that. Two more rows after this, after this one. Doesn't, doesn't the pieces take on a new life once they've got a bit of stitching on them? Yep, I'm going to do two more. So one in the middle there, the middle of this space here kind of. And then I have to go along the edge. So there are thick bits and then there are thin bits. I'm going through the thick bit right now. Ow. See all of that there? That That's me stabbing myself. It's all the, the stabs. Sometimes I just get the top layer of my skin and sometimes I go a bit deeper and it's a bit more. It becomes a little bit sore. Oops, now we've got a knot. We didn't need that towards the end. Okay. Yes, I'm glad I chose this just this plain thread I don't know if you can see it I hope you can oh that's thick oh Okay. Yep, loving those little stitches on the other side. It's exactly what I want. Okay. Now, just going to have some thoughts. I'm pretty happy. I'm not going to actually do any more on there, I don't think. I love that. Okay, that's going to be like that. So, just want to see. I don't even know if I've got anything. Let's flip it over. I just want to put a few little patches here and there like I've got that I love selvage would that look nice anywhere I could have a little oh I wonder I 
What if I were to have a bit of selvage? Hmm. Kind of like it there. Oh yeah, and that will fit, cover that bit. I could stitch that on. Let's just let's just have a little play. Can I go right through? Yes, because I've got the snazzy pricky pins. I like that. Okay. Weird? Possibly. No, that's too white. Um I would put that there. So just patching up a few of the really raw empty bits and I'll go around that with the blue. This I'll go around with the blue as well. Um, I'm not gonna put too much. Oh, there's a lovely butterfly. Um, let's see. Not too much. Just a little bit. Oh, I like that piece. See what am I going to see? I won't see too much actually. So there's no point in putting it right down there in the depths, but I could have something like that. Maybe crossing over there. Yeah. I'm going to stitch that on as well. They're all going to go on with the blue. So I'll go ahead and do that um, before next week, and then next week we'll be able to construct it and then we'll start all next week or the week after one of the other ones or both who knows who knows yeah now oh I did see the butterfly so let me just so that is really wonksville I do need to trim off let's actually fold that and I'm going to just I'm going to just cut this yeah. Don't freak out. This is how I do it. There. Cut some of my stitching. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, good. Oh. There we go. Now it's straight. Ish. <laughs> now, do I want the butterfly? I would literally just stitch that on with the blue as well. So I could have the little butterfly. Here maybe. Let's just pin it. I quite like the butterfly. I don't know. We'll decide that. Not a flat sausage. It's still wonky. It's okay. I'll make it work. So don't mind the butterfly. Oh, that's going to be a nice vessel. Yep, I think I'll probably put the butterfly on as well. Maybe you can camp the stitch just in and around the butterfly. Yeah, I think I might do that. Okay, so that is my video for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. I'm super excited about this project. And I will see you again next week. Thank you for watching. Bye.